Hello and welcome to part two of Autodesk Alias Design from the beginning. Okay, so let's start talking about navigating within our views. If I hold pick with my left mouse button, you will see that that will highlight my active view. Now, in my perspective window up here in the upper right hand corner, what we want to do is go through real quickly how you would navigate within this scene. What you're going to do is you're going to hold Shift and Alt. And that is a clutch key. And it's going to just take time for muscle memory to remember the Shift and Alt. If I hold my left mouse button, it allows me to move around my scene as you can see here or could be referred to as orbit. You can also, now I'm not holding shift and alt, you can also drag on our view cube. Okay, let's go over to the top view. Now with the top view, if you hit shift and alt, the f left mouse button, you cannot tumble. What you'll do is you hold the middle mouse button, allow you to pan and the right mouse button will allow you to zoom. And you'll notice that as I make a change in this top window, that the left and the back are also updating. That is the same here. If you go in the perspective window, middle mouse button is pan, right mouse button, you're zooming in. So the biggest difference is you can tumble in your perspective window. Okay. Now, some of you might say, well, I don't like this top left and back. Why, why does it do that? Well, that's currently how the default settings are. But if you go to Windows, and if you go to Preferences, and we go to General Preferences, so if we hit this option box right here, and we go to Model Windows, you'll see something called Use Tutorial Window Names. Now, notice this value. Requ start required for these values. Also, you can set your Y up versus Z up. Default is Z up. So what we're going to do is say use t window tutorials name. We'll hit go. You won't see a change. What you'll need to do is restart alias. And when you restart alias, this is the result. You have perspective, top, front, and right. Um, if you're a CAD user, you may be more used to this type of setup. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact via blog or ask questions. We're going to take this step by step through. Um, please come back for part three of Alias. Autodesk alias design from the beginning.